Hello guys, this is Doran's Movies and today I'll be giving you the lore of the infinite dragon flight, going through its creation, how it works and some history. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The infinite dragon flight is a group with one goal, to destroy the true timeway and alter the history of Azeroth. To understand their motives, we have to look at Nosdormu and the creation of the Great Aspects. Long ago, when the Titans were still on Azeroth, they charged the dragons with safeguarding the world. Nosdormu in particular got one of the most difficult tasks and that was to control the complex paths of time and ensure that history follows one true timeline. As the Titans knew how corrupting great power can be, they granted Nosdormu knowledge of his own demise as a lesson that despite his significant power, he will die one day just like everyone else. Now with this knowledge, a tormented alternate Nosdormu from the future is tricked by the old gods whose goal is to bring the hour of twilight, also known as the end of all life on Azeroth. This new Nosdormu, known as Murazond, which is an anagram of his name, is trying to subvert his mortality and change the timeline, jeopardizing the future of Azeroth. As a result, the infinite dragon fight filled with corrupted bronze dragons is created. We saw their first interference around the time of the Burning Crusade as they tried to stop Troll from escaping Durnholt, while in the Black Morass they tried to stop the Horde from ever invading Azeroth. To some this might seem like a good idea, why shouldn't we stop all this bloodshed, but in reality if we prevented these events from happening, even worse things would have happened. For example, if Troll never escaped Durnhold, the orcs would most likely stay in the internment camps and the horde would have never been created, meaning that the horde wouldn't be there to fight the burning legion at Mount Hygel. On the other hand, if the orc invasion never happened, the human nations wouldn't unite and the eastern kingdoms would be much weaker with the coming of the scourge and the burning legion. Another reason is also removing troll from history as if he wasn't around, he wouldn't be able to use the dragon soul to defeat Deathwing, whose main goal was also to bring the Hour of Twilight. Furthermore, in Wrath of the Lich King, we have the infinite dragon fight trying to prevent the calling of Stratholm, which again in the long run would be fatal for the world. If Jaina never abandoned Artis, she would have never sailed to Kalimdor and help us fight the Burning Legion. So. Taking out any pieces from the time puzzle, even though it might seem like it would save lives at the moment, would in the end be catastrophic for all life on Azeroth. Now in Cataclysm, things start heating up as we finally find Nosdormu who was lost for a considerable amount of time as he was stuck in the pathways he was charged with protecting due to the old god interference and him trying to investigate this weird issue. Once Troll traveled through various versions of the timeline, he realized that the one causing all of the problems was Murazond, a corrupted version of Nosdormu. Our main goal was to retrieve the Dragon Soul to stop Deathwing, but in order to do that we had to travel through the alternate timeline once again and defeat Murazond. We found that he was located in a distant, very possible future known as the End Time where the old gods have succeeded in their goals and Azeroth was nothing but a wasteland filled with nothing. We did manage to kill him which subsequently led to us defeating Deathwing and stopping the upcoming Hour of Twilight but that was definitely not the end of the infinite dragon fight. In war crimes, some 3 to 4 years later, they return once again, although not really as before, mainly in the form of just Kairos Dormu, a corrupted bronze dragon. He helps Garrosh escape through time into the alternate version of Draenor in order to form an uncorrupted orcish horde known as the Iron Horde and bring them to Azeroth to fight against the Legion. But in reality, it wasn't just that and he wasn't satisfied as he wanted to cultivate an infinite number of hordes from different timeways. However, he was killed by Garrosh and we were stuck in worlds of Draenor trying to clean up the mess that he had created. 
Right now it is uncertain where the infinite dragon fight is, but it is said that it can never really be stopped due to all of the tangled pathways of time, and as Nosdormu said, he will eventually fall into madness, and we will have to stop him, as Morazond, the one we defeated, was just a future alternate version of himself. So really the possibilities are endless with the infinite dragon fight and what can happen with them in the future. Alright, that is all I have for this video, now do leave your thoughts and suggestions and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already as it really helps out and keeps all the videos going and thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.